I'm Juan Pierre, Major League Baseball player. And today's tip is the fundamentals of bunny. Uh, this is kind of a lost art at the prof professional level, but uh, it's always something you, everybody needs to do, if, whether you're uh, five years old all the way up to a guy in the minor leagues. And I know they always have these guys in the minor leagues, pro guys, that's power hitters, and they don't learn how to bunt. But guess what? When you come to the big leagues and you're a rookie, the manager might ask you to, to bunt, so you better know how to bunt. So uh, this is a key fundamental for me. First of all, you want to get in your stance, and this is the sacrifice bunt, which the base hit bunt and sacrifice bunt are the same for me. What I want to do right now, when you know the sacrifice bunt is on, but you're always taught, which I do some, but you're always taught, if you know the coach, you look at the sign, you get the sign. You if, if you stand back from the plate, you want to get your sign. If you know the bunt's on, you want to get close a little bit closer to the plate and up a little bit. And the reason why is when you turn and square around, you got a lot of more f fair territory to deal with. So if you're back here and bunt it this way, the ball can still go, go fair. But if you're back here in the back of the box and you get out here and bunt, you have no plate coverage. Your plate is almost behind the home plate. So if you bunt it over here, the ball is going foul. Over there, same thing is going foul. So what you want to do is get closer to the plate, a little bit further up, uh, in the box so you can have a lot of uh, foul territory to come with. That's the first thing. The second thing is the stand. I would not teach anyone to come all the way like this because if a guy's, the le high level you get up to, the guys throw harder, and if they come in, you cannot get out the way. You will have to, you know, move out the way. So I do not encourage this. I know some guys, people do, but I, just, I do not encourage you to spurt, turn it all the way around to the pitcher. What I like to do is personally, I get in my stance, all I like to do is drop this back foot. Back foot and I'm right here. And the reason I do this is because I can cover the outside part of the plate. When you hear, if a ball's on the outer half, you have no plate, you have to lunge out for it. And when you do that, you usually pop the ball up. So that's why I just get right here and I turn this back foot in right here so I got all plate covered. So I can bunny here, here, even back here, I can still bunt that ball fair. So that's all I do. I want us to get right here, turn, and right here. Next is my hands. As you can see, my hands are separated. I do not encourage anyone to have their hands close together like this because you have wiggle with the bat. And then when you wiggle with the bat, you can pop it up. Worst of all, you pop it up and hit it in your face. But right here, you don't have no bat control. You can. The, bat, the barrel of the bat will do anything and it causes the ball to pop up. So I like to separate. You might not have to go all the way down, but you got to get some separation right there with your hand. Another thing with your hand, you want to keep these hands back. You don't want to grip the bat like that because a ball can hit, the, hit your fingers and it will hurt. Trust me, I've done that a couple times. So you want to make sure you get your hands out, your fingers out of the way of the ball when it comes. So you're right here and you can move anyway. This is wrong. This is right, so that's, that's all you want to do right there. You want to get in your stand, drop, and this works for right-handed or left-handed uh, bunters. So you want to get in, drop the bat, and you're right here. Another thing is your legs. This is where you adjust with. You don't adjust with the ball. Ball up, you're here with it. The ball down, you go down here and get it. You do it with your legs, not with the bat. If you do it like this, again, if you up here, ball pop up, or you, you really rarely bunt the ball fair. You always foul it off like that. And definitely if the ball's down, you got no chance of keeping that ball fair. So the main thing is you adjust with your legs. Here you go. Pitch up, here, here. Pitch down, you adjust with your legs. So you up and down with your legs like that. And you got the plate covered. So if a ball's away, you just lean back on that back leg. Bam. So you got the plate covered. Same thing here, ball in, bam. And uh, the last thing is setting your angles. If you know the uh, man on first base, you preferably like to bunt the ball to first base so the, uh, the first baseman could come in because he's got to hold the guy on, so he has to stay there a, a, a second longer. And the thing is, when you bunt that angle, you want to set your bat angle early. You want to get here. If you know you bunt the first base, set your bat angle. If you're left-handed, you set it at the shortstop. If you're right-handed, you set it at the second baseman. So when you set your angle like that, that's all you got to do is bunt the ball. The angle is set, so once it hit it, it's going to go that way. It has no choice but to go that way. So you want to set your angle early. You don't want to get here and then know you got to bunt the first base and then you try to hook it like that. No, you want to go in there, set your bat angle early, and you just wait for the ball to come. Bunt it to third base. 
Guys on second base, first and second. You want to bunt it to third base preferably because the third baseman has to hold because he doesn't know if the guy at second is going to run or not. So you want to go over there. And right here, set your angle early. You want to be parallel right here. So when the ball hits, it's going to go that way. You go in the first, you set it out front. Go in the third, you have it parallel right in front home plate, and the ball has to go there. And those tips right there will, will help you become a better bunter and um, have you more relaxed and all that at the plate. So again, what I like to do, drop the bat leg, hands separated, adjust with the legs, set the angle early. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a couple uh, of bunts so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. This is the bunt to first base. Here I'm gonna wanna set the ball, set my bat angle early, drop the bat leg, and then the ball is gonna go to first base. There it is, right there. You don't have to reach. Ball right there, set the angle, bam. You don't have to move the bat. That's key, you don't have to move the bat. Right there, see the ball's down a little bit? Adjust with the legs. You don't go down like that. You adjust with the legs to go down there. That's the ball to first base. And here's the ball to third base. Once again, set the angle, straight. Angle straight, ball's got no choice to go there. You right there, turn, straight, bam. Ball right there, one more. Right there, bam. And that's, that's basically it. Setting the angle, getting your feet right, and remember to stay relaxed, breathe, and all the pressure's on the pitcher. So with all those tips, if you do those right, you'll be a pretty good bunner.